So my name is Sharon Murphy and I'm Curator in Residence 2017 at Drea Arts Centre in Blanchestown, Dublin 15. As part of the Curator in Residence this year, I, I suppose there's a number of key elements to the programme. Uh, one of which is, um, and which is the most compelling, is that the demography of Dublin 15 is that it is the fastest growing young people's population in Europe under 30 years of age and 26% of the population is under 15 years of age. We're very keen, I suppose, in this inaugural kind of programme for Drake to ensure that young people, their, their faces, their voices, um, their feelings, their sense of, of, of place uh, in their community and in their country is placed at the heart of the gallery here in Driex. School Portraits is basically, a, it's a group exhibition and it is, there's four artists involved and what you get is, I suppose, artist representation of contemporary school life and these artists are themselves contemporary artists working in across a variety of media. So behind me here we have Mandy O'Neill's work which is fine art photography but also we have sculptural work by John O'Hearn which is held in the IMA collection called St Francis Street Boys and that a series of sculptures was made in actually in 1998. Um, so they're the oldest children as it were in this group exhibition. Uh, upstairs in the first floor gallery we have Blaise Smith's work. His work is a series of portraits that he made over uh, a year in a school presentation college in Carlo and his work was commissioned under the Percent for Art in 2011 and he spent a year in the school and he basically I suppose documented a year in the life of the school. So what you have is environmental portraits, you have uh, portraiture of uh, buildings, you have portraiture of act school activities and there are some individual portraits. And Killian Waters' work is the newly commissioned piece for this exhibition and it, it's a representation uh, through film and soundscape, an installation of uh, young people from Room 13, which is an art initiative, a Fingal um, uh, based art initiative, Fingal County Council uh, supports it, uh, of uh, school run studios. So Seen and Not Heard is a video triptych, it is um, a selection of video portraits, one minute video portraits of students from two schools in the Dublin 15 area, from School Bridge and um, Tyrrell's Town Educate Together. These students were involved with um, Room 13 Inquiry and they were working with artists in residence in the schools. I went through a process of um, interviewing them and filming them sitting still in front of the camera um, for three minutes each and then took the interviews um, and overlaid them across the video footage of one minute per student on screen um, across three screens. And then the questions were based around work they had been doing uh, with the two artists in the two um, Room 13 inquiries and there were questions around uh, self-portraits and self and they'd been looking at um, self-portraits of themselves from the year before and now and there was a lot of conversations around that and uh, self-representation as well and um, some of them were also talking about like masks and costume and representation of, of self and they were also then kind of talking about the transition they're making from sixth class in primary school into first year in secondary school and what that would be like and what it means to them. So the idea was to represent children from the Dublin 15 area and represent kind of what is both important to them and what they think and what they feel at the moment. So that was it. The collaboration became between myself and the two Room 13 inquiries. Um, they had already been doing a lot of the work so it was my commission came quite late in the process of, of the overall exhibition so I kind of had to hit the ground running with, with the students and within the Room 13 inquiry setup they had already been working really closely with these two artists and they had already laid the groundwork and um, there's a lot of trust involved and a lot of um, work needed to get you to a point of doing a work like this and um, the two artists had done 
that work. So I was very lucky to be kind of um, to kind of be led in to that kind of inner circle that they had. And so there was a lot of trust was straight away um, kind of passed over to me. And um, so the children that I was working with were very open to, to the whole setup and they were, they were, yeah, they were really on for it. So. so Room 13 Inquiry is a, a shared studio space where I and students of the local school make work together in the same space. And we've been doing this for three years. The project is funded by Fingal Arts Office and has a close collaboration here with Driot Arts Centre. Um, working, we work mainly with, I suppose, fifth class and sixth class. They're our lead protagonists. Um, and sixth class, we've been doing a lot of work with, well, in the concept of portraiture and self-portraiture. And what is the self? What is meaning? What is metaphor? And how do we bring all of those things together to understand ourselves? Some, some of the children themselves are investigating what it is not to be a child anymore. Um, quite profound and interesting questions for them, leaving one, um, I suppose, place of education and going into another one. Um, and they're in this liminal moment where, who am I and what am I and what am I going to and what am I leaving? Um, they're leaving behind, from their own words, they're leaving behind being a child. Um, and they're going to be an adult. Some of them don't want to do that just yet. Um, but through, through the project and through collaborating with Killian and um, I suppose investigating together what it is to be a person with a, with a um, I suppose, with a portrait <laughs> or to be a portrait or to, to have a persona, to have a, an exterior that can be looked at. Um, that's intriguing to some of them. Um, and I think they were on a little bit of that journey but having killing in and having school portraiture here in Driot has m made that process richer and deeper. That they've they've investigated it more because it has more importance. And certainly here now that it's exhibited, um, it's it's given it more gravitas. I think. Uh, so I'm Maddie O'Neill, and uh, I'm a photographer based in Dublin. I mean, there, there's lots of different kind of almost like folders of work as part of this work uh, from community events that I photographed to uh, the many school trips um, to the, yeah, the Gale talked to the, you know, Christmas, Halloween, all these different kind of school rituals, confirmation, graduation. Um, so and also it's it's been a way for me to get to know the community. Um, and I, I see all the kind of kids from the different years around the area uh, because they go to school in secondary school in Cabra as well. Um, but also, even through this, I've, I've started to work with um, the local community centre with the, the men's shed and kind of older women's groups and stuff. So it's, yeah, it's, it, it's wider than just the school now. It kind of, yeah, it's, it's branched out for me. Uh, the opening night, we had like a, a discussion group uh, with the artist and the curator from IMA um, and I actually learned a lot from even just being part of the discussion uh, you know about the demographic of the area uh, you know there's so many young people in this area and the the direction that uh, Sharon and Emer are, are trying to take this the gallery in which I think is amazing like it's um, it's just very dynamic and it's a really good context for me for my work um, even the idea of audience you know, there's, there's so many kids around here, um, the idea that, they, you know, they come in and they, they see the work, um, you know, rather than being in some sterile gallery and that's, you know, that's maybe a little intimidating that they, they just never see. So to me, um, so far, like this, this is, for me, it's been the best context for my work and uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have it here. Um, my name is Nazarene. My name's Anna. Yeah, it's a bit weird because that's like one picture and I've changed so much, so much since then. Like my hair was blonde and 
just really weird to see it that way. I think this is more, you get to see like without posing sort of, cause you're, you're not really, you're not, you're out of school with Snapchat and that, and now you're, you're in school and, and then also it's not selfies and stuff, so you can't really like see what you're posing like, but um, I think it's, it's really good. We have a compelling demography here insofar as that it is the fastest growing young people's population under 30 in Europe, insofar as that we have 26% of uh, young people under 15 years of age. So it really makes sense to have their voices and their faces and their lives explored and uh, on show uh, proudly uh, in a space that's in, in, the, in this area. And that goes to the heart of the commitment here, the wider commitment in Drake to children, to young people, to emerging artists, to that kind of young population. It's been interesting to see young people look in, see themselves, identify themselves on the wall through the imagery here and then come in. So that idea of saying, wow, this is a place where I, I can be represented or my story can be represented, I think that is really, it's really critical. In addition to this kind of representation, uh, curated, I suppose, exhibitions and so on, is the, is the act of engagement and the young people coming in to see themselves, but also of participation, in other words, the young people in time to come curating the kind of work that's here in a space like this.